Hello guys and welcome back to another video of Minecraft. In the last video, we built a potato farm and I've been working hard to potato this place up. <laughs> yeah, just been going through the fields like this, totally not using bone meal. And we also managed to go to the nether and get a very good spawn. Let's go check it out. Oh yeah, I made our nether portal wider. Let's go. I may have finished the path. Not the best looking path, but it works. That's all that matters. Oh no. This is the things I did not expect that could happen. Let me just get rid of these. I booked them for when I was fighting some weather, weather skeletons, but now I don't need them. I should probably have my shield out. No. Oh, this is a tick. No, am I seriously not getting any? Blaze rod. I'm not getting not getting any blaze rods. How? Let's see. I met what I get. Uh, nothing. But in today's episode, I think we should start getting into some more automatic stuff. And I'm thinking maybe we start enchanting because we do have a, a few levels. But if we can get nah, um, fortune, then we can get even diamonds so we can start making things. Let's go up. Must really add stairs. Let's go. over there. <laughs> oh, not. Right. Right. House is still the same. Let me grab some ores that I collected. Put them away. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's my... I got a wither skull. I wonder why they're so empty. Because they have no brains. <laughs> oh, that's why they can't break in place blocks. Because they have no brains. Let's quickly put that away. Okay. So, for an enchanting... T actually... <clears throat> Let me start on the automatic. So you'll need iron, wood to turn into chests. Gonna need to get some more wood. If you want a small one, you need at least three hoppers. But if you want to make it bigger, you for automatic. Making things quicker than that, you'd want six hoppers. I'll sh show you guys. Oh, there's some sugar cane there. Yo, there's a lot. Anything else? 
Nope. Okay. My base looks so weird. Just has parts everywhere. Still don't have enough wood. Oh, there's some. Some sheep. Are they cows here? Because that's what we're going to need for the books. The leather. I found her. But if we didn't find cows, I guess we could have just used another alternative way. <laughs> no, not. I'm going for cows, not horses. I'm civil. Not. Let's go quickly. Wait. One more. There. Wait. I'll be right back. During the snack break, grab a water, grab something to drink, or something to eat, and then let's get right back into the video. So, these are the three items you'll need. Two furnaces, six hoppers, and six normal chests. The furnaces could be blast furnaces, or regular furnaces, or even smokers, depends on what you're using it for. And I think just regular furnaces, because then I can put sand, um, I can put anything in there, not just what food or, 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 ores. But where should I place it? That's, I'm thinking I place it by my potato farm, so it's quick and easy access. I think maybe if I build out a little bit I can build it next to it maybe no because I might want to yeah actually that's a good place let's build this out very quickly so There. Two, three. Because I can have a path in the middle here, so it connects to farms and whatnot. And here's where I can have this automatic furnace. Start off with two chests there, your hoppers right behind them. Furnaces can be faced like that or the other way. You put two hoppers there and here, chests here and here. Might actually move it down one. Yeah, it'll make it look nicer. Let's do this quickly. Then I'll explain what everything's used for. So, 
this chest is for the things that are smelted, like iron. And since there are two, it will automatically go through. Then, so, anything that goes in there cooks. You see how this won't go here. It's wooden that that goes. And it goes from the top. So it puts it on the top of that one. This one goes into the side, which is the coal in your fuel, which goes at the bottom. And then the outcome will get sucked out from those hoppers into this chest. It's a very easy, simple, but it helps a lot. We like this. You can put potatoes there, wood there. It will burn each one. Like if you just want to cook potatoes or food items, you can just have a regular one in a smoker. But even what I recommend doing is you build another one with your smokers. Because the ores in that can go in here with sand and those things where the smokers food can go in the smoker then. Ooh, sunflowers. Oh my goodness. So let me grab some coal and then we can start smelting some items. And the best thing is it's then now you don't now you don't have to just use one thing for all of it. Let's grab this. Where am I? Okay. Yeah, totally didn't use bone meal. Let's put this away. Through here. Down the stairs. We. You can see how they've started to cook already. And the best thing is once everything's cooked and it's backed up, if you take something from out of the furnace, once everything's gone past and it's completely full, you get XP for smelting things. So it helps out a lot. But that's quite easy set up there. Let's get on to the real prize, the enchanting table. So you're going to need some sugar cane. And maybe I should build a sugar cane farm. Then I'll also need a cow farm. So let's build that in this area. Why did I put my cobblestone away? Still love my house. But it's, it's just the start base. Very empty down there now. Oh, my cobblestone. Oh, yeah, I found some diamonds while I was getting cobblestone. So we're back up more than we had before. We're going to need sand. So let's make some more fences. Shovels. Yeah, never mind. Let's go mine some sand up at the desert. Or should I, let me first plan it. Let me first plan it, then mine some sand, and I'll be right. During the snack break, grab a water, grab something to drink, or something to eat, and then let's get right back into the video. Okay, I've worked out the measurements. Got all my sand, made my desert look even worse, but not as bad as it's going to be in the future. This whole thing's going to be gone. Don't even know how the space is going to be able to live here with that. But it's fine. I've got the water and the sand, and let's start placing. Meanwhile, while I'm placing all the sand, please, if you enjoy this video, like, subscribe, 
and even send it to a friend to show them because I'm sure your friends will enjoy me. If you guys like my channel, surely other people will. Yo, I have a speech coming up next week, I think, and and I was gonna, and when I was just going through my speech, I was like at the end. And don't forget to like and subscribe. It's quite amazing how you get so used to things like that after recording for ages. Perfect amount of sand. Yeah, for the people who've been sticking with me through my videos, I have to say. Thank you a lot. It means a lot to me to have so many people watching. Even if I don't get as many views, it's great. I am thinking of streaming, and but I think I'll wait a little bit. Then I'll stream. Because I don't know what I'll stream. Me building stuff on here. Almost done. And let's light up the place. Yeah. Almost there. Oh, you don't scare me. If I was in hardcore, yes. I want to start something whenever you get attacked by a baby zombie. It's called Fozer. I'm, I'm being Fozer because he died to a baby zombie. Very sad, but also very funny. Oh, my potatoes are almost done. You know, almost all grown. Looks like there's a few places where they aren't growing nicely. Where those black spots are, I might have to make some lanterns and hang them. Yo, know, that might work. Let's get this open. I should also do like what I did there with the water. Place, place it here. Hey, let's get back inside before some um, he tries to eat me or a creeper blows up my something I've been working on for ages. Get out of here, creepers. <laughs> Yo, this has been very successful. But we're not done yet. Because we haven't even done something else. We haven't even finished our main goal today. We haven't made an enchanting table. Because we need leather. Oh, I just thought of something. Cows eat wheat. We don't have a wheat farm. We have a potato farm. So I might have to build a small wheat farm also here. This is basically just a farming area. Farming simulator. There. Should have built it out one, but it's fine. Okay. Thought it was getting darker. Just had just slept, so surely it's not. Potatoes. We need 
add some lights around here. That might help. Light it up. It's weird, but how plants grow in Minecraft. some of its last things perfect imagine you could cook a poisonous potato oh that would just be horrible okay let's let's build our wheat farm if we have a potato farm because and if i do have villagers that will feed them um I kind of want to carry on building out, yeah? Maybe I wrap it around and build it there, or even just next to it and build a path in between. I think I'm going to do that. I sh hmm. Do I wanna? Is it worth making it look nice to go through all this effort? And I say yes. It is worth it. It is worth it totally. So. Let's get in to the awesome mining montage. Here we go. I've got the wheat farm planned out and the cow pen planned out. I don't have any cobblestone. Let me just steal here. So I can build. Oh, need some more. <laughs> Two, three. Yeah, we have those people there. Some of my favorite people. 
two, three, four. Yeah. <clears throat> Trying try to make everything symmetrical. Just make it look nice. Because that's how you get stuff done. By making it look nice. Not just random things. Like you don't want to have a farm in the desert. A cactus farm here. No, like all your farms in the desert, cows and that. And you have a cactus farm here, not in the desert. It's just seriously... But also it's fine. Let's start crafting things. I gotta love wood. Oh, bean bo blocks. <laughs> oh, those blocks are cursed. Let's grab four. Okay, four will do. Okay, let's maybe one more. Then a whole bunch of those. Cause I wanna mine out here and make little parts from here. So then you can just run through the field to the other side. This looks quite fine, mighty. Yeah. Cause then if I'm this side I'm like, oh, I want to be all the way that side. Oh, I want to be that side. Let me quickly run through the field. Here we are. I have to get those two cows in here. Might actually, I um, should go to the village to grab wheat for now. That will be the best option. Definitely if I got villagers, they can have their own house. Because I do not want them roaming around my land here. That would not be fun. Just having random villagers running around the place. Let's... Maybe I should leave that open so I can lure the cows in through there. Let's fence this off. I think I'm going to be able to make the enchantment table today. Let me fence, finish fencing it off, planting the crops, and I'll be right. So, I finally did it. Got the cows in their pen. Got the wheat in. And I think it's finally time. It's finally time we get the enchanting table. Where are you going? What train? You spit at me, you can run. Yeah, run. Oh, you got some leather. Let's go up. Yay, we made it up. Sleep. That's supposed to go there. Why is my redstone there? The last, some of the last stuff is just in these, few, in some of these chests. And this one block I placed down by accident. Yay. Very fun. Okay, let's see. So close. So close. Wait. That would have been a fail. Let's quickly. We gotta run. Dun dun dun. Running all the way to the other side. Oh. Yo. This grows fast. My, all my potatoes look done now. What day is it? 
Uh, I can't even find them. Wait, who's zombie? Get away. This is day 22. <laughs> We've made a lot of progress in 22 days then. Let's make some paper, some books. There it goes. The enchanting table. Thinking of building something here for it. But for now, just place it there. And this will be it for this episode. It's been a long episode, but we've got a lot of stuff done. So, see you guys in the next video.